Doesn't Jesus, he? Jesus, listen to that. Uh-huh. That's hailstones on the window. Try to film a video, hailstones. <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to Tam and Bell Resell. <laughs> we've got a haul today, first in a while, yeah. and we've been looking forward to doing this. And Bell is with me again. So if you're new to the channel, what I do is I buy things for cheap in charity shops, boot sales, and then I sell them online for a profit. So that's my full-time job. And Belle is my wife and I like her to do the videos with me sometimes. <laughs> and she likes to do a bit of sourcing for me as well. Mostly for myself. Aye. <laughs> so we'll get on with it. We've got a few things to show you. So here we go. <laughs> so first item, I got this. It's a Oxford crossword solver and it's boxed. And I think it is new. I had a quick peek and it's like got the stuff on it that, you know, the cellophane stuff. So that was only £2. And they can go for decent money. But if you actually find the thesaurus of this... Mm -hmm. That could go for really, really good money, strong money, like over a hundred pound, or at yeah. least it used to. We have had one of them. We before, have had haven't one we? of them before. It was yeah. actually our son Cole that bought it years ago because he was obsessed with tiles and calculators when he was little, eh? yeah. and um, he bought it, and it was like I think he paid three pound fifty for it. And so ended up selling it for one hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. I think it was a good, a good find. Yeah, but that's not quite as good, but it still should be a healthy profit. Next item is a super cute jelly cat. I think it's a toad instead of a frog, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? a, toad, a toad, yeah. And Tam spotted this and it was only £1.25. He's cute and nice and soft. I seem to well, have... It's actually, it's not really cute. He's a bit scary. I like actually. it. Grumpy. He looks like some of his Star Wars. Grumpy toad. Grumpy toad. Crossed, crossed with Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, it's got a kind of human like face to yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so £1.25 for a jelly cat. That's a good fit. Thanks love. I've got this bag and it has a Radley bag. And it's leather. Nice lining. Is it black or navy? Black. Black. And a lot of but Radley bags can be faked. So you've got to be careful. But a good indication is this sort of hologram inside, and that should be the real deal. But there's other factors as well, of course, but £5 a page for that. This toad is like going to go for like between £10 and £70. Ooh, nice! Imagine if it is a banger, because Tam's not checked. I know, I've not checked. <laughs> some, of the, some of the jelly cats have a good price yeah. if they're rare. Usually you... You're worth picking them up though if you can get them that cheap. Mm -hmm. Any jelly cat. Yeah. I spotted this absolutely stunning dress hanging on the rail. It's not my size, I wish it was. It's mm. a small size, really very warm. small. And it is by a company called Sherman of London, made in England, and I paid £3.50. I took this over to Tam yes, and he vintage. said. It's vintage, yep. I says, this is a beautiful dress. And I said, do you want to get it? It's vintage. And he went, nah. No, no. Yeah, you no. did. <laughs> Tell the real story. You brought it over and I said, I didn't think so, love, because I'm not really selling clothing just now because uh -huh. it's quite hard to sell clothing. And I says, it's vintage. Are you sure? Yes, and he I went, see. no, I'm sure. And I went, I just got, I had a feeling. I went, you want to check it? I said, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, okay. And then he went, all right, get it. <laughs> I will be as well get it then. <laughs> I was casual about it. Like. So it was £3.50, but as you can see, it's really long and it's just really pretty. It is. So I'm yeah. glad it's not my size. <laughs> so I think, like, if you could sell, get the higher end clothing, they still could sell well on eBay. Mm -hmm. But anything sort of lower end is a bit of a struggle just now. Got this tray at another charity shop that we go to just down from Bell's Grands. That's not relevant, but I'll just tell you anyway. <laughs> got it for £2. Is that £2? Yes. Yeah, £2. I just like the uh, Bentley on it because Bell's dad's really into like Bentleys. Bentley's even it always says if you won the, the yeah. lottery, buy a Bentley. But I just liked all the old, mm -hmm. it's like the old adverts for all the different stuff. And So Tam bought it for my dad. It's one of these. I bought it for her dad, but he said. But he said, just sell it. 
Yeah, he does like it, but... Yeah, he said thanks very much, but... They like to... He wants us to get our new house, yeah. so he says, just sell it. Just sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tam spotted this. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so it's Hedwig from Harry Potter, and it was £2.50, and it's so soft and fluffy, and I was so tempted to keep this, but Tam checked online and saw how much they're going for, so I says, just sell it. Yeah. Because we do need our house. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I'll get you a smaller one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a little keychain for my bag. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Next up, we've got this Gromit. I was about to say Wallace Bank. <laughs> got this Gromit Bank, and it was £1.50. It's really ceramic, heavy. so it's not plastic, and it's got the stopper. And yeah, Wallace and Gromit stuff can do well, so hopefully that's worth a little bit. I spotted this lovely piece of glass tile art would you say so nice and it's one 125 did i pay for that yeah yep. 125 so i'm deciding whether i'm going to keep this or sell it because it really is pretty <laughs> lovely hummingbird bird lovely hummingbird <laughs> it's a hummingbird a hummingbird <laughs> quite fancy a hummingburger after this <laughs> oh don't that's horrible <laughs> he's vegetarian he's yeah, terrible i am, eye. I am. <laughs> I know, that. I can't joke, I can't <laughs> joke about eating meat. <laughs> Got this today, and it, I'm not sure what it is, to be honest, but I just liked the thing on the back. I think it comes out, yeah. Comes out, and it's got the wee eyes, and I think it's usually like... Is like, is it like for chugging tin, do you think? Chugging tin, or that race car thing. Remember? Rory the race car? Mm, yeah. Or, um... What's the other one with the eyes? Uh, I said. I can't remember. I thought you said Bob the Builder. Bob the but Builder, but I'm not Bob sure. Bob the Builder's car survives. But it's, it's like remember. not got anything on the bottom. I think Bob the Builder's usually like that. It's not got any like names on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But it was only £1.25. I don't, I don't get a signal in that shop, so I just thought I'd grab it because it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tim spotted this purse as Paul Costello and it was 99 pence. It's in this nice sort of blue and grey colour. It's real leather. Is it vintage, is it? Mm-hmm. It's quite a, it's a decent brand, Paul Costello, especially for the bags and that, so I thought that would be worth it, 99p. I've been getting a few of these recently and this is another one. It's like a barometer. Recently sold one uh, encased in wood for £25 and this one is actually encased in stone. It's like a... Cement or slate or something. Slate, it's yeah. really heavy. It's really heavy and it's just a nice piece. I thought it looks a bit like a map. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if it's like a city or something, eh? Yeah, it could be. Maybe but, Or maybe a state in America or something. Yeah, nothing on it to indicate what it is, I don't think, but... Yeah, that was £2, so. Cool. Next up is this boo, which is so cute. Where are we from? From Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> and she was £2.50 from the Cancer Research Shop. And you've just sold one. Just of sold one. I sold a new with tags one for 25 Just so cute. Tam's actually bought me a pin badge for my denim jacket of this. Yeah. <laughs> So I'd expect around about 20 for that at least. That's good. Next up we've got this. It's I think it's 90s. It's certainly got the 90s vibe about it. And it's a match. Thumbnail. <laughs> it's certainly <laughs> even if it's no the thumbnail, it's getting kept in. Uh, <laughs> it's certainly got a bit of 90s vibe about it. It's matchbox connectables. And I had a quick look in, and this main piece is definitely here. I'm not sure about them. I couldn't be bothered trying to count them all because <laughs> they were stuck together and stuff. But even if they're not, I had a quick check, and some of them individually go not too bad. So that was £5 for the box. I love finding vintage toys. Mm -hmm. Tam spotted this as Corona Extra, and he says that they have limes in it, apparently. So well, I don't we're know. just wondering if this is like... 
some kind of lime juicer yeah. and it was 99 pence usually bar stuff does quite well you know for like it's home come, bars and things it's coming into summer season for the home bars and outdoor bars and stuff yeah oh well love it says warning sharp blades oh mm. maybe it's like a lemon slicer yeah, then it's got, it has got sharp blades in there mm -hmm. be careful yeah let's <laughs> stick my finger in <laughs> <laughs> oh no don't break it love jesus how do I even get it? I'm just leaving that. I'm just leaving that before I do something. Please do. <laughs> I got this nice Hamleys bear. It was £1.50. I still like picking up plush. There's not a great deal of profit in it a lot of the time, but it's new. Well, it's got its tag. I don't know if it's brand new, but £1.50. Hamleys. Hamleys is a posh London store. <laughs> so hopefully that's what. It must have cost a pretty penny to buy it from there eh? yeah. originally. And then Tam spotted this cute little teddy bear as well. And it is a jelly cat. And he paid one pound. <laughs> Damn the jelly cat finder. I know. <laughs> I pick up these when I see them for 50p. That's a toot toot driver. And then I wait till I've got four or five. Bundle them up for 15 to 20 pound. And it's easy money. I spotted this today for Tam. It is a Pokemon carry case. Must be like a gaming thing. And it was only £1.50, so it's got quite a cool design in it. Do you remember who it is? Pikachu. Pikachu it is. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Hey! Well done, love. <laughs> oh, you're getting good now. <laughs> Welsh poker picker might like that. Yeah. Poker, poker. I keep saying it like poker picker. She was like, I like them, but I don't like the Lord of the Rings. I'm like, why would you like them then? They're like Lord of the Rings. That is weird since it's Game of Thrones. Oh, love. I just said you were good today with the po <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, right, sure. Sorry. Is it? Sure. And then you've got sure with the Lord of the Rings cops. <laughs> These, the rock. <laughs> You're not ready. <laughs> Picked up these and they were all separately priced, but I know they will sell pretty well as a set. That's Bing Teddies. That was a pound. Cool, we used to love Bing when he was a toddler. Yeah, it was so cute. That was a pound. And I've got lots of favourites. What's your favourite story? And Celia was £1.50, so. 350 for the lot. Here we go, let's see if Belle can get through this. Next up are these three espresso Game of Thrones cups. Not Lord, Not Lord of the, the Rings cups. And these were £1.50. I'm not into Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I've got this cute little elephant and I got it because it's, I think it's pretty vintage. It's called a Kamar and it's made in Hong Kong hmm. so it looks to have a good bit of age to it and it's just really cute <laughs> I love and that sweet gingham it was stuff. only a pound well it's not gingham it's polka dot yeah polka dot I spotted these for Tam today in the chest no it was from cancer, cancer research, research. so I think they're actually the little things that you put on croc shoes kids have got them so it was a pound per pack and we got 12 packets of them. So we might bundle them or just don't know how to sell them, them separately. But they're quite yeah. cool. It's got like M&M's and it's got Stitch. Stitch and Buzz. Superman. And then there's like Marvel ones in here. And Sprite and things. So they're kind of funky. I would have yeah. loved them when I was little. It's good for customising now. Eh? When, um, do you remember when you used to get the wee Probably. packets in the cereal? When you were a yeah, kid, of course. you used to get little toys in the cereal. They don't, they don't do it anymore. That's no safe but now. It was, uh, yeah, little packets. And I used to love the, was it Spokes they were called? Spokes. The spoke, spokes. The spoke lights. 
that no, it wasn't no, like, like some rattle like, things. Yeah, yeah, they were like we beads to put on your bike, and they were so cool. Or you got things to put on your laces like this, yeah. you know, and your school shoes and that. And they were, they were great. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bells <laughs> ringing us <laughs> Eighties girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this parrot, and it was one pound, but. It is actually Disney. I was going to say it looks like the parrot from Aladdin. Yeah, it does. I thought that might have been it. But it says Starbean Mattel Inc. El Segundo USA. Disney. Jesus, listen to that. That's hailstones on the window. I'm trying to film a video, hailstones. <laughs> so I think that might be the parrot of Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? Yeah. I think he was Jafar's like sidekick. He wasn't very good. I always thought the parrot was called Jafar. No, Jafar was a bad guy. Yeah, no. Really? When I was younger, though, I used yeah. to think the parrot was called <laughs> Jafar. <laughs> when somebody said, no, that's Jafar, I was like, what? <laughs> I spotted this for Tam today. It was one pound, and I think it's for covering up tattoos instead of like spending a fortune on laser removal. It's um, like a kind of foundation, but it's really good for covering tattoos, apparently. Hmm. I thought I'd take a chance in that because I didn't get a signal, so... But <laughs> Bill's probably right. Count that many times Tam says doesn't get a signal. <laughs> didn't get a signal, I didn't get a signal, I didn't get a signal. No, we didn't get signals down in the shops, do no. we? Or we don't. We don't. We don't get Don't a get a signal, don't get a signal. I've got these, and I think it's K-pop, is it? Like Korean pop, and it's two bands I've never heard of them. Like, but it's playing cards, and they're brand new and sealed, and they were a pound each. But sometimes this sort of K-pop stuff can do really well, so yeah. Decided to take a chance on these because mm -hmm. I didn't get a signal. Tam <laughs> <laughs> got this. It's a shoehorn, and it was one pound originally from IKEA. But it's got a cool design on it, so. Yeah, handy for people who are struggling to get their shoes on. I like picking up IKEA stuff because sometimes they bring it out and then retire it. Yeah. So sometimes things could do pretty well. Also, if you don't live near an IKEA, we don't live near an IKEA. No, that's to true. To get anything delivered, anything at all, doesn't matter what it is, it's £50, which yeah, it is costs a just fortune. ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. They need to start offering normal delivery yeah come on come on ikea <laughs> come on ikea if you're watching our big channel <laughs> got these like pictures they're from united arab emirates and they are memories unperished and it's like the seven different colors of sand it's really the proper sand from the desert they were nine, uh, one pound each so quite unusually I thought at first they were Egypt, but the United Arab Emirates, so Belle quite, quite likes things like that, so I thought I'd get them for her to see. <laughs> this is a handcrafted genuine teak wooden bowl, and Tam paid £2.50 for that. That's a really nice bowl. Yep. We sell well. Yeah, we sell quite a lot of wooden stuff. Talking of wooden stuff, I also got this nice solid wood knife block. And that was one pound. And there's the, where the knife's going. I just thought it's, it's nice and heavy and if you're buying a knife set, you often don't get a knife block with it. So mm -hmm. could sell that on its own. Yep. You better not put knife in the title though. No, oh, that's true. What would you call it? Utens utensil, utensil block. block. <laughs> Tam's got these vans and they were three pound. like a sort of um, different colours of denim. navy. Like a denim type material, yeah. suede. Mm -hmm. Got these Adidas trainers and they're a bit grubby so we'll get them chucked in the washing machine and they were only £3 as well and they have got wear and stuff but once they've been in the washing machine they should clean up quite well. Next find of towns are these hotter shoes, sort of like more they're like the guys' shoes. Yeah, but they're like not trainers, but not shoes. It's a bit like in between. Aye, a fancy like, trainer. Like three pounds. Casual shoes. Yeah. Casual shoes. I bet you they're dead comfy. Yeah. 
three pound. Got these nice Skechers, black, and they are a size eight, three pound. Be good for school shoes for. So perfect, perfect there. school shoes for school somebody. Shoes. Tom's got these Riker, is that Riker, how you say yeah. it? Riker sandals and they were four pound. Sandal They're season is coming. Condition actually. <laughs> and I think they're a size... Well, I think they're, they're a, a 10, 43, 43, which is a 10. 43 is a 10. Normally. Yeah. Got these next and these are the penultimate item and that's Adidas trainers, but they're really quite unusual ones. They look awful on camera, but they're really nice. Yeah. I don't know why. The camera, suede, it's because the light's but, yeah, shining against the suede. They actually are a really lot darker discolored. than that. Yeah, they're they're really dark. But they were, they were. Sorry. See, aye, they don't look, they don't look great on camera, but they are nice. Mm -hmm. And they were three pound. They're unusual, eh? Yeah. Tam's got this here for the final item and it's got a nice little verse on it and it says things are tough at the moment said the fox let the waves carry you through the turbulent times replied the moon calm seas all, always follow a storm and it's got that lovely design on it that's so nice it, nice for like a nursery or a kid's younger kid's room eh? yeah thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love for you to join the channel. Tam's got Instagram, Facebook, and what else have you got? <laughs> it's been so love. long. A eBay shop. If you want to follow Tam on there, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll take these off. <laughs>